Well, I got involved. I'm a Master of uh, Social Work student with Walden University, and I am an intern with uh, Catholic Charities, um, and my supervisor is Milka Wade. And this event, we do as parents, uh, grandparents as parents support group with four of our elementary schools in the surrounding Norfolk area. And this event was a celebration for them. This is their tea party just to really say, hey, we appreciate what you do. We recognize your sacrifices. And we are wanting to say thank you. It's not easy when you've gone through the prime of your life and you have taken on these challenges. And like so many of them have said, this is a whole new generation with new challenges and we just appreciate them for what they're doing because no one can take care of your child or your children like you can. Yeah, well grandparents are very special in any child's life, but particularly when um, they're needed more uh, as a parent, if you will. And so as somebody who grew up with my grandparents from the ages of 6 to 12, uh, I certainly recognize the, you know, the, the tremendous sacrifice that they make, but also the, the, the value that you get from as a grandchild of being a part of something so great and also you know it's just a sacrifice that grandparents make and so it's really important I think that we say thank you to them and say for all that they do it's not something that they are required to do um, it's often makes them feel like they have to be a parent more than a grandparent which is sometimes very difficult and they're, grand, they're parenting in a new generation uh, generations have passed since they were having asked to be parents but it's also a blessing, and I know that my grandparents, uh, the relationship that I have with them because of that time is just so special and so, so important. Catholic Charities have meant so much. Um, I started with this group, oh, maybe 12, 13 years ago when Miss Minnie first started. I was one of the first schools, and uh, even though I wasn't a caregiver at that time, I still enjoyed all the conferences, everything, until I had a nephew that I had to be the caregiver of. And this year, Christmas time was rough because I had no funds. I was just getting out of the hospital and I know they needed different things. And I missed the deadline for the call in, but somebody from Catholic Charities kept calling me and said, well, we're going to work it out. And it was such a blessing. Children, you, when you grow up, when you raise your own children, it's different than when you're raising your grandchildren and it's a little bit harder and so things are, are different now and the children have special needs you know that my my children didn't have so I'm dealing with that as opposed and I also have four of my grandchildren Catholic Charities is wonderful I am so glad that they were in, that I was able to join in with them they've done so many different things that has been you know just so nice. It's amazing that, you know, and I'm so glad. I, when I tell people about it, they live out of state, they're like, well, they should have a program like that everywhere, you know, and it's like, it's a really good thing. I'm really glad I joined. It is very exciting to meet with other grandparents who, like myself, have raised their grandchildren in conjunction with other family members as support systems. I'm the grandparent of a set of triplets, um, but that's not all. I have seven grandsons and one granddaughter. Um, and it's good to just be able to sit around and bounce off ideas, talk about our frustrations, and just do some camaraderie when it comes to raising children. And we invite anyone who's taking care of a, a child that, that is not their bio biological child. It can be an aunt, a grandparent. All you have to do is contact any of our four schools, Sherwood Forest, John Monroe, uh, Campostella, and uh, Little Creek. And even if your children don't attend those schools, you can be a part of our grandparent support group. And we welcome, because this is a wonderful opportunity for them to know that they're not in this by themselves.